Final Cut Pro allows you to edit your audio at the sample level down to 1 80th of a frame. Sample accurate editing allows you much finer refinement of unwanted sound in your audio. Park your playhead over any clip looking for a clearly defined peak in the waveform. From the view menu, make sure zoom to samples is enabled, as well as clip skimming. Press Command Plus to begin zooming in. As a clip becomes more magnified, you'll begin to see the gray border representing the frame boundary. Moving the pointer over the frame boundary, you can see that Final Cut Pro is showing you the audio at the subframe level. To view the precise subframe count, press Command Comma to open Preferences, then in the general pane, choose Hours, Minutes, Seconds, Frames, plus Subframes. Notice as you skim in the gray area representing the frame, the subframe counter in the timecode field displays numbers from 0 to 80. These numbers are the sample count for that frame. Clips in the primary store line can only be edited at the frame level, not the subframe level. For example, move your playhead to subframe 20, then press Command B to create an edit point. Notice that the cut happens at the nearest frame boundary. Undo that step. If you need to remove unwanted sound at the subframe level, keyframes will do the job for you. Option click on the volume bar to create a set of four keyframes around the sound you want to remove. Then drag downward on the volume bar between the keyframes to remove the sound. This is extremely useful as you can see that it's possible to remove audio within a frame, not just at its boundaries. So in certain instances where trimming alone will not remove an unwanted sound, it's good to know you can zoom into the frame and knock it out with keyframes. If, however, you need a way to cut the audio at the subframe level, you must attach the audio first. Press Shift-Z to zoom out. Select a clip, then press Control-Shift-S. Skim over the connected clip looking for a subframe to cut on. Skim to subframe 20, then press Command-B. The connected audio is cut precisely at the subframe, and two connected audio clips are automatically created.